Good morning, everybody. Ah, today it's gonna be a great day to be a castle day. Castle day. Uh, it's raining. It's raining. So we're off to uh, Pe Pelis Castle. Today's our adventure day. So in our castle game, my castle game, is getting kind of weak here in Eastern Europe. So we decided to make it happen. And of course, it would be raining. But look at that. Oh, look. look at that. Can you see that? It's so pretty. <sighs> this is going to be awesome. Wow. You know what? I think the rain helps. Gives it this weird spooky effect. Woo! All right, I'll let you know what this castle is all about. As I'm trying not to get step in this river. What are you? I know, and Kayla just comes in. Like a wrecking ball. One student. So we're about to take this castle tour. What is this built? 1873. You know, you always hear about castles and princesses and stuff, but really it's like angry war guys all the time. That's what I know. <laughs> Alright, well that was cool. I really couldn't take anything because there was no photography. But, after that, it's cool too. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Anyway, this is my friend, Elisabetta Carmen Silvia Regina Romiani. She lived from 1869 to 1916, and she liked having her feet up all the time, because what woman doesn't? So that was castle number one. Connor, any thoughts? Um, I think that it was made yesterday. So, yep. It kind of was. It was. It's only like 150 years. It's a little bit. It's like yesterday. All right, well, it started raining. Just in time for castle number two. Alright, castle number two. This castle is the famed Bran Castle. It is supposedly Dracula's castle. Wait, so this isn't the castle? Spread the word, it's a cave. Oh no. Is that why there's all these stairs? All right, we're at Dracula's castle. It's right there. Nope. No, no, okay. Welcome to Transylvania. <laughs> now, this isn't the real Dracula's castle, right? That's what I say, it's not. I don't really know things. Laura? Not. Not the real castle. I'm just here. So, what is this place then? It's Bronze Castle. Who's Bronze? I don't know. It's like a cool guy who had a castle. So, do you know, Kayla, do you know why the Dracula myth is so popular, so strong? I actually do, because I listened to two podcasts about it. His name was. Dracul and it was Vlad the Impaler and Dracul is what they called him because he was the son of Drac and it's like the dragon was his father and I don't know they own this castle. So he's not a vampire? Nah. Where did that come from? Um I actually don't really know but Vlad was a super cool guy who would flay the skin off of people and then put them on giant sticks while they died. Rotisserie humans. Rotisserie humans. You wanna know why it's a secret? Because the vampire used to use it. Come on, let's go. Ready? Ready? Yep. Stop licking the walls, <laughs> Kayla. It's gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> what do you think, Laura? I love this castle. I'm gonna live here. Laura's the vampire. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our good friend Vlad. He's the one who the myth comes from. That guy. Yeah, that's the vampire. All vampires have mustaches. What does that mean about Nano? Is Nano a vampire? I, don't I thought it was Blizz this whole time. I don't know. It's Nano. We gotta get him. Let me see him. Are you ready to do what needs to be done? Okay. Something about Dracula's legend. Okay, I'll tell you about it. Bram Stoker is the guy who wrote a book about Dracula, and he chose. Transylvania because it was the it's this been area in the middle of Romania or maybe it's divided into three different sections and Transylvania is one of them and he thought it was spooky and mysterious scary because all the woods and everything. So he chose that to be the setting for Dracula and then he chose the name Dracula because our friend Bobby Impaler, who I've already told you about, was a ruthlessly well known guy. So Dracula's not a real person? I mean Vlad was a real person. Thanks a lot, Vlad. <laughs> Nana, there you are! Look, I found you! Okay, I'm gonna tell you two histories. One is real and one is fake. And I want you to tell me which one's which, okay? Okay, so this scale right here. First history. It was used, it's the first ever scale that was used to decide whether a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers weighed more. History well, number two. It's a scale where when they thought people had committed crimes, they would put them on one side and a Bible on the other, and if the person weighed lighter than the Bible, they would kill them. To be honest, I have no idea which one's the real one and which one's the fake one. I think the Bible one is real. It is real. History number two. Yay! Killing people. I read it on a plaque. I really didn't make it up. That one's, this is not a goof. I mean, the first one was. But they really did that. But a pound of feathers is a pound of bricks. That's the joke, Kayla. The first one's a goof. The second one is history. Yep. Found the torture room. <gasps> Look at that. That's not good. That's not good at all. I also didn't want anyone to worry. I didn't really kill Nano. It was all a goof. I know you were all really convinced, but I didn't really kill him. Unless Caleb edits it and it looks like I did really kill him, in which case, I killed Nano today. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate that. And I would just like to thank Caleb for all her amazing storytelling abilities. I don't think Nano was a vampire. I should know by now. Do you know where the bus is? One of our buses to the left. Good, because I don't know. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, stay excellent to each other.